to make up for <laughs> To the wife of the commander. And to the wife of the commissioner. The Honorable Minister of Education. Ladyship, the judge. Hello. Hello, yes. He's in a session right now. Would I give him a message? He's in a session right now. Would I give him a message? Okay. Commissioner of Police. invite our invited guests to light reception to a light reception at the Dominica Grammar School our invited guests <laughs> I'm in filming you. Oh, are you? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I can dong dong with Gabriel, but you were in town. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm good, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. This is a good little ceremony. Yeah. The difference, anyway. I know. <laughs> Not <Nothing wrong>. enough. <laughs> <laughs> Several other brothers are there. Yeah. Hi, Chris. 
<laughs> How are you? I'm good. <laughs> There's nothing to Gabriel on this. Well, it's very nice. A good man. Uh, Gabriel is doing his utmost to help Dominique as much as he can. And uh, he's a very, very good leader in his job and uh, same as uh, the works he's doing. So, with God help, he'll go a long way. Definitely. And he'll help Dominican people as much as he can. And we're very, very proud to be his family. <laughs> he's a good man, he's a very good fella. Thank you. Uh, and thank you a lot. My pleasure. Okay. Uncle, you say something? I know, I know. I can remember. The days gone by when I used to take this young man to the pictures. <laughs> I used to carry him to the carib <laughs> yes. Um And I tell you something, he's gone so far in this world today at his, you know, with his um, performance today, he's done very well. And the thing about it, he, he's got no sort of reserve about his family. His family remains his family. No matter where he is, he's among the bigger boys, he's among the acknowledged. And this is the thing. And a man like this, he must survive. It's a blessing. Because it's a man don't work. And uh, what I can say, I always say to him, I wish you well, Uncle. I wish you well. And, so, <laughs> and no matter how much trips he made from overseas to here, he always come to me. He always acknowledge me. So, in the end of the day, my love goes to him and I give him God bless him that he can pursue me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, to catch Major and then to say something for Gabriel, but he took off on me. He's going to oh, lead yeah. the parade no. now. Oh, the Irishman. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, Uncle. Let me see who else I can. Oh, these guys we met last night. Yes. Sir. <laughs> I'm recording you guys. You're okay. Hello, how are you? Thanks for coming. Hi. Oh, it's yes. lovely. We're having a great time. How are you? So, Sabi, say something to me about Gabriel. Oh. Remember us? Remember me, right? From yes, last I, I night? remember oh, okay. you tremendously. <laughs> Max Jeffers, Carlos Costa. Hi. Yes, I have your card. We had a great time and uh, very nice for the cadets. It's a very great uh, honor for Gabriel and uh, all the best to him and uh, continued success of the cadets and uh, Gabriel himself. Thank you. Hopefully we can do something together very soon. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and to you. <laughs> Thanks. Enjoy your day. Okay. Excuse me, gentlemen. You guys want to say something to Gabriel for Gabriel? This is Gabriel's recording. <laughs> no, we don't have to say anything for Gabriel, man. Gabriel will say it all. That's all I say for Gabriel. You've said it. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Chief, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the highest rank you say? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you have nowhere else to go in except to mentor those who's coming along? Who's? Who's? Yeah, there's nowhere else to go except to mentor those who's coming along? 
know, I mean, there's from that you have um, Lieutenant Colonel, you have oh, that's what Colonel, I'm you have Brigadier, you have Brigadier General. Okay. So at this point in time in Dominica, it happens to be the highest rank. Oh, in Dominica. But, yeah. So but, hopefully we will get something. Well, as the as the core develops, okay. As if core develops and expands, then the rank um, develops yeah, as per as per numbers. Mm -hmm. So now I have 200. When I when I about maybe a thousand, so you probably go to Okay. You know, and the idea is by next year this time we'll have about 750 cadets. Okay. So probably go to Lieutenant Colonel from there. Then full Colonel, mm -hmm. Brigadier. And I never fear. So what's your unbiased opinion of Gabriel Christian? Who have we received an, <laughs> an award today? Unbiased, there's, 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 there's no such word. <laughs> that word doesn't exist. Not in your dictionary, okay, no, 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 not that, your opinion. That, that, yeah, that's, uh, that, that word doesn't exist. Scratch. And. I give Prime Minister said. If there was a tough something every month, he would be here. You believe that's the fact? Every week, not a month. <laughs> I mean, this, this year we will be celebrating Cadet, Cadet Week. Next year we'll probably cele celebrate Cadet Month. Okay. And probably following that, we'll probably Cadet Year. A whole year of activity. Okay. Thank you, sir. How about that? <laughs> oh, I didn't even recognize you. I'm good. <laughs> Can you say something to Gabriel on here for me, please? Hi. How are you doing? How do you sleep? I'm doing fine. I'm waiting for you to say something. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm good. <laughs> you guys went to the, the, to the thing last night? We did. We, we did. did. Okay. <laughs> we did. We, we Say something to Gabriel for me. Why, what did you think of, you know, the award and everything that went on? Sorry? What did you think of the award that was handed over to Mr. Christian? I thought it was excellent. The whole, yeah. um, the whole parade and I think everybody participating should be so proud, and especially the parents of them. Yes. They, um, Regular troops couldn't have done any better standing out in that heat for that length of time. That, that's a, that's a, uh, very, very impressed. Thank you. What about you, Mike? Well, I, I uh, offer congratulations to Gabriel and, and for getting this thing revived and to have his old former commander on, on hand. Uh, so, and you are? So we have both ends. It's Major Earl Johnson. Hi, Hi Earl. Mr. Earl Johnson. My pleasure. My pleasure. My nice pleasure. to meet you, sir. Very That's your opinion on Mr. Christian? Christian? Yes, sir. I mean Captain Christian? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the one. What can I say? I, caught, I sort of regard myself as a father of all of this. And to see someone who started off just as a regular bandsman yes. in my cadet corps many years ago, evolve through the ranks and not only succeed professionally as a very eminent attorney in the United States, but to come and carry on this mantle and to pick it up from here, that does me proud. It shows you that if you throw seeds out and they are planted on good soil, what can come of it? And I think all Dominicans should take pride in this. And all Dominicans should look at this young man as one very, very excellent leader who is not only forging the way ahead, but also demonstrating by his personal involvement an example of what can be done. And my hat's off to them. I feel very, very gratified and proud to be here on this day. Because most people, you see, they are long gone before what they have tried to do is recognized. And to be here today to witness so getting what I've seen, while makes me feel very, very good. I congratulate them, especially Captain Richards, who's got the rank of major. I really take my hat off to them. So hopefully we may have some little Christians or little ones coming from the college. If they are well trained within the college. Like I say, you plant good seeds on good soil. So you that's, that's your hope. You can reap a great harvest. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir.
that is son is it maxwell Hey, what's up? Okay, then people first. Break it up, break it up. He said left wheel, that's the left. <laughs> you didn't say right wheel.
They didn't know they were coming here after, so they should have at least come. You want them to just sit in your office and you need a telephone call. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, to get the information. Get the And do you do you intend to be in Nicaragua one day? Yes. And you get bigger, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. This <laughs> way. Oh man. Okay. So, um, as a parent, I mean, um, tell us something about the cadet yes, because your son is involved and. Is there a change in your son's behavior or attitude since you joined the cadet? Or? Certainly. Uh, as a parent, I think it's one of the best things any parent can do to encourage your child to be a part of the Dominica Cadet Corps. I personally took my child by his hand and got him involved in the cadet movement. I said, here is where you belong. You must be a part of this. There was a little bit of apprehension at first, but eventually, the first day uh, he attended the program, he said, Mommy, this is really the best thing that happened to me. So I have seen tremendous that's growth in his overall performance in school and as a person he has been great uh, in his community and at school and I owe it all to the Dominican Cadet Corps. I am very proud to be his peer. Thank you. Your name is? Anne Baptiste. Anne Baptiste. Thank you. 
spectacles used in the future, have the first day of the colors on expenditures and stuff like that. And what's your name? Shannon Lang. And you've been in Calico for how long? About three months. Three months? Yeah. And you... Okay. So you all have heard of Mr. Christian? Yes, he was a What's your Mr. opinion? He was the one that only did our instruments. Instruments and without him, we would have been nowhere to go. Because of him, we are where we are today. Thank you, ladies. Gabriel yeah. Christian, you have any kids in, in Canada? No, no, no. I'm back to the representative of the position. Representative, so what do you think? What was your opinion of today's activities? Well, I think and it, it, was, uh, it was a good My way activity. I, I hope that the Canada Corps can be able to we do need those uh, discipline organizations. At least it keeps the young persons occupied doing something meaningful. What I'd like to see them do too is uh, to get involved in a diversify areas of skills uh, you know, for the young, for the young men. Uh, both technical skills, social skills and recreational skills like uh, they can get into things like swimming right up on the Swimming, but they, those could be um, sort of life skills that could use for safety. So they uh, probably can work with the youth division. We are working closely with them. Maybe they did not mention the youth division, but the youth division um, ha was at the center of the redevelopment of it. Mr. Later, while he was the chief of development officer, did play a very, very important role in the re um, establishment of the character. For example, during the Dufa, the the collect for the band houses, uh, the, the equipments and so on are all housed. The downstairs, the youth enterprise center. Um, we provided them with transportation for their racers and all during the week. So I'm sure it there. was just an oversight that they didn't mention your Well, name, I guess sure. it was an oversight, but we are paying back. The budget comes through your division. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you, Mr. Pinay. She's got all the blackmail. That's right. Okay, one more. Okay. That's, that's, that's my friend. I know we don't have a chance to know that. So that's the news of the planning. Discipline. So soon we need to have to be disciplined and organized. We can have a chance to you know, the whole factories. This is the kind of thing that we can do. We make sure we can get away from the dogs and gangs. If I see him, I know you guys know. When I came home, I was broken my face. My face is broken. I've never been on the road. There's a lot of young people after that. A lot of young people after that. One go. No one in line. So, like. That's that's the hope we have now. There are scholarships that, that are available. Different kinds, different countries that are free. You gotta go. You're, if you're gonna take pictures. Yeah, bro, I should join them, huh? Hi. Excellent. Excellent. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go to the river. Okay. Yes. And this is, um... Is that Rossi or Russell? Rossi or Russell? Russell. Staff Sergeant Russell. Ask her. Uh, Sergeant Packer. Packer. How was the match around town? Okay, tell me something about the cadet corps and your involvement. Tell me something about the cadet corps and your involvement in the cadet corps. What has it done for you? I mean, well, it has teach me how to become a better person. Um, how to live a better society. How to deal with everyday life. And uh, keeping me away from the street. How long have you
have been a Carico, a member of the Carico. Yes. Do you only member of the family? Yes. You have the younger sisters and brothers? Yes, I have. You think you will really encourage them to join the Carico sometimes? Thank you. Fabrico Villa. <laughs> I know. I don't call and told them that he didn't rise. I don't even ever is. Ever is. My world. It's a drink of water. <laughs> <laughs> All right.